Today marks 11 years since the Aurora Theater shooting, a day that changed Colorado forever. Zach Goldidge was inside uh, Theater 8 on that night, and he was shot but survived. After he healed, he felt the calling to give back in more ways than one. Zach is joining me this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. You have since become a firefighter, which I think is just an incredible, uh, and, and it's, you're a hero now. Why did you decide to do that? Well, you know, uh, for, for a multitude of reasons. The first one was because obviously being directly involved at the, the Aurora Theater shooting that night left a curiosity in me to see what it had been like to be on the other side of the 911 call. Mm -hmm. um, I know what it's like to call 911 and, and be fearful and uncertain um, and just really want some help. Um, and so, you know, firefighting was a direction for that. And then also as a lifelong athlete, I wanted to find a career that I could best replicate what I had been doing best my entire life. Um, and so with those two, considerations in mind, it, it really spoke, and I'm, I'm, I love my job, um, and I love going in every single day. So you were shot, you were showing me, it went through right right through here on the side yeah, of your so neck. Yeah, through here, and then exited right here in the back. So close, mm -hmm. um, and you were saying that that was the first time you ever called 911, was that night? It was, it was. Um, you know, I was 17 at the time, and uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna call my mom <laughs> to have her come pick me up, or to call 911 because I was still uns unsure what was happening that night, mm -hmm. being in the adjacent theater. It's an, it's an incredible, you know, survival story for sure. And we were talking about how you're doing right now because it's 11 years and I'm sure memories and things come up. But you have kind of taken that and you've put it into a passion project of raising money. You have a 5K event that's coming up this weekend. Why did you decide to put that together? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great collaboration with, with the 720 Memorial Foundation um, and the team that they have. Um, last year it came, came about because it was a 10 year anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, so chatting with Heather Dearman, who is the, ch the head of the, the foundation, um, you know, we wanted to see what we can do to make the event special. And that was an idea that I had in the back of my head that I kind of pitched, um, along with pairing that with a scholarship um, you know, for an APS student. That's incredible, and I know it was really popular last year, so here is the second annual one that's coming up this Saturday. Where does it start, where does it end, what time does it start? What do people need to know if they want to get involved? Yeah, so Saturday at 8 a.m. at the Aurora Municipal Center. Um, you can find more information at, on Run Sign Up. Um, you can look up the Heroes Journey 5K. Um, you know, last year we had over we had 200 people, and this year we're on track to go over 200 people. Wow. I think as of today we have 190 signups. Um, you know, our goal is to reach $15,000 to distribute a $10,000 scholarship this upcoming year. Right now we're just above 10,000, so we're, we're really, really close. Um, it should be a, a fun event for everybody of all ages. Um, if you register, you get into the, the beer garden that follows after. Um, New Belgium's gonna be there and they're gonna give a beer to everyone who's of age that crosses the finish line. Um, and I'm really excited to see everybody there for a second year and I really appreciate the support from everybody as well. You're so close to hitting those numbers in a couple more days for people to sign up again. This is for any age, but if you're 21 and older, you get into the beer garden as well. This is the second annual Heroes Journey 5K. Again, it's Saturday. More information can be found at 7-20memorial.org. Of course, you can find all the information on that website as well. Zach, thank you so much for coming in and yeah. thank you for all that you're doing. Yeah, thanks so much for having me and um, thank you to everyone who who's continues to support and, and be the hero to somebody else who really needs it. It's important. Thanks for coming in.